here, and this video is how to use Windows Movie Maker and GeForce Experience to do gaming YouTube stuff. So you go into your GeForce Experience, you hit the little icon right up here, this one. Looks like a triangle or something off of Zelda, and you hit record, which you can see I'm doing right now so that I can capture this. So you're going to have that going when you're in game. And you'll have this little icon down here with the green, meaning you're recording. NVIDIA loves its green, so you're going to stick with green. And you're going to have the mic on here. Uh, one of my first mistakes I made when I first started doing this was not having a headphone with decent mic. Okay, and then what I've got here is I've got my screen cap videos here that I've done. Now you can see this one, I can't open it because that's the one of this video that I'm doing right now. Well, let's work on that Darkest Dungeon video that I just finished up playing with. So let's fire up the old Movie Maker and uh, do that. You know what, actually, before I do Movie Maker, I'm lazy. I'm going to go into my Videos folder. Mr. G plays. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There they all are. All right, where is Darkest Dungeon? Now, I don't want to do everything all over again. So I'm just going to copy part four. And I'm going to go ahead and make a part five there. So we'll just call this, rename it, Darkest Dungeon Part 5. And I just caught some serious spelling errors in those ones. Dungeon has an E in it, Mr. G. No spelling errors. You're a T. And the Darkest Dongren? Ooh, that's, that's just bad. Let's hope that didn't show up on the channel. Okay, let's fix those. Oh my goodness, you know what? I'm just going to leave it. It's terrible. Let's, let's jump into our part five. Okay, so there it is. It's got nothing in it. I must have been preparing part four for this. Or wait a minute. Oh, I was going to do part four anyway. Part four was already set up. My bads. All right, so here we are in Movie Maker. It's a pretty simple program. You're just going to add videos and you can clip and cut those videos. So I'm going to go to my screen capture folder here. And I've got two for Darkest Dungeon because I had to stop mid-recording. So I've got two clips for that one. Alright, now it's going to take a while to load this. So I'm, gonna, I'm zooming out. I'm going to move my, my credits one down there. My ending music can move there. Now that was left in there from before. So you can also do stuff like add music. Now this is an intro that I made on pinzoid.com. It's just a free intro making website. I will put the link in the in the description for that, as well as Fotor, which is a free website I use for making the, the thumbnails, if this is something you want to do. So you can see down here it's loading audio data, but that should mean that we have video data we can use and work with. Although I do like to use the audio data, as it uh, usually is easy for me to see when I start talking. Oopsie doopsie. Now I got Darkest Dungeon going in the background. Let's get rid of that. That's messing with my sound. I'm doing a video of this. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going ahead and I'm going to cut out all the bits that I don't need for this. It's going to take me a little bit because some of there's boring chunks and some parts where I'm not talking. You can see the gray bits here is, is sound, me speaking. The green here is music that you can add. And when I'm done with that, um, I'll save the project. And that just saves the changes I've made. But when you're all done with Movie Maker, you just go ahead and hit Save Movie. You can do 4 Computer, which is lower quality. I've been doing 4 High Definition Display, which takes a lot longer to upload to YouTube. But uh, a lot of people were like, I can barely see your resolution on this video. It's terrible. So I went ahead and started banging these out in high def. And it takes longer to get up onto YouTube, but the quality is certainly a lot better. So when you're done, Save Movie. You're going to have that downloaded, then you're going to go fire up your YouTube and you're going to upload that and, and you're on your way to doing some gaming videos. Now you can see I can jump around anywhere here in the stream and you can see it gives you a little preview. And I think you can actually, you can change the size of that if you like. I don't need it huge. One of the things I'm going to do first off is just edit out all these these clips here where I'm off task. I'm not not doing any anything game related. I can just scroll on through. 
You can see when I start talking again there, you get the gray bumps there for sound. I'm, gonna, I'm just using the split function. So you, you're just splitting and then you're gonna take a piece of video and you're just gonna hit delete and you're gonna cut that out. And then you're left with, with what you want. You can change the order with just drag and drop. So nothing too hard there. And then when you're done, you just go back to NVIDIA. You're gonna fire that up. Now that's my email. You don't need to see that. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna go into GeForce Experience. Now I know there's probably better better pieces of software for doing this, but this is free if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. And for what I'm doing, it works just fine. So I'm gonna hit stop.